So in 2023, we have, we are going to discuss 10 cruise ships that are dropping. We are excited about, we want to see, we want to sail them. We want to do all of that. We want to be a part of it because we love to cruise. We want to be a part of it. It's not in any particular order, kind of, um, but we're going to get into what we have. Cruise ship number one coming out in 2023. It doesn't come out till December, but it is Celebrity <laughs> Ascent. It's the ascent for me, darling. That comes yes, out yes. in December of 2023. So the whole port of that will be in Fort Lauderdale, and that is part of the Edge class of ships. It starts, mm -hmm. I believe, like early December, mm -hmm. like like the second week in December. That's what I saw. So yeah. um, it holds 3,200 to 3,900 passengers. So a nice size ship. It's like a, I wouldn't say like a mid, it's like an upper mid class. But um, it is a very, it's not like a Oasis class ship. Right. So it's going to give you class. It's going to definitely take you to another level if you've never been on Celebrity. Mm -hmm. It's going to give you um, opulence. The shows, I've heard great things about the food with Celebrity. Mm -hmm. We have taken Celebrity before. You guys just never seen us on Celebrity because this was prior to our blogging day. So we actually cruised a lot before we started blogging. Yeah. What do you guys think about this ship? Are you guys booked or what? I feel like for a regular every, everyday person, mm -hmm. this is your opportunity to dip into that into a luxury line without going to the extreme the like the ultra luxury price point. So right. I feel like you want to spend a little more. It's good for, you know, an anniversary, um, a big occasion, things like that. And you could you could feel good. It's definitely a higher level. It's not turn up. Right. Okay. It's more of a grown, mature crowd. Mm -hmm. um, from what I know, a more mature crowd. Um, they do have a lot of Motown singers and groups and stuff on mm -hmm. Celebrity. Entertainment looks A1. The, the Edge class, is, it gives, just from looking and watching other vloggers go on the Edge class ships, it's giving what it's supposed to give. We just recently started um, following um, Captain Kate mm -hmm. on, she is the captain of Celebrity Beyond. Very inspiring to see a female captain, American mm -hmm. female captain of a ship. Now, speaking of captains on the Celebrity Ascent, they're doing yes. something very new, mm -hmm. kind of That's inspiring for into. us. Um, they're doing something that I have never seen before. They have, they actually have a captain on that's been with them for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. And then they have no, his- 30. Oh, 30, 30 right, because his brother. Years. So now he has a brother who's also a captain on Celebrity. They're both brothers. They work in the fleet. But even as brothers, they don't get to see each other very often because they're captains. They're on separate ships. Celebrity Ascent is going to bring these two brothers together to, to co-captain on the Celebrity Ascent. That right. is they're very, very cool. They're both captains of yeah. the Ascent. So they're brothers. It's amazing to see. And I said, wow, how inspiring. You know, we have two daughters. and that We told Raina Royce, yeah. right? What if you guys were like captains? Captains, on right. Captains of a ship. Now we are moving on to ship number two. Remember, this is not in any particular order. This is just what we listed. And these are just 10. There's probably, there are more, but we are just listing 10 that sparked our interest. All right. So now we are moving on to ship number two. And that is the Norwegian Viva. So this is the sister ship to the Prima, which came out. And we have sailed on. We have vlogs on the Prima. If you have not seen that, go check it out. I still keep saying that the Prima is so underrated. I don't know why some of the reviews are where it's at. Look at this video alone. It is so dope. The racetrack is amazing. The back of the ship over there, the, um, the Vibe Beach Club. They have infinity pools on the side. If you do Haven, it's a next level. It's one of the best in the cruise industry. Well, a lot of people give the Prima a bad rep, but I loved the Prima was one of my top ships of 2022. Same. Um, I really enjoyed it. I I really, really had a great time. We sailed to Canada. If you guys have not checked out our, our series on that, but we had a blast and we weren't even in like the warmth. We were like, once this goes to the Caribbean, this has to be really, really nice. So mm -hmm. we went, our cruise was pretty cold. So what you looking at? There's a light. Oh, when um, you do that, I'm looking like, yeah, <laughs> somebody there? Somebody jumping in. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> but the Norwegian um, yeah. Viva, it is comes out August of 2023, and the home port will be Italy, but it will be moving, of course, yeah. to America. It's definitely one of those ships that's moving around. Yes, a, a, a it bit. will be doing um, Southern Caribbean sailings from Puerto Rico when it does come to America. It is a prima class ship, and it holds the same amount of people as the Sudbury Ascent from 3,200 to 3,900 people. And the sister ships is the Prima, and then there's three more unnamed ships. So in that class, it's going to be four ships in the Prima class. So all the people who are the Prima haters, you got to get used to it because they're coming through with more of them. In 2022, we did 11 cruises, and one of the ships that I ate the best on <laughs> was the Prima. Yeah. It's it might be my number one for eating in 2022. Yeah. I ate, Um, I mean, I'm The best you. eating I have, if I had to name out of the 11 ships and name it in order would be the Prima, the Wish, the Wish. and then the third one for me would be the Carnival. Uh, this is the Mardi Gras? Is it the Celebration? Which one did I eat better Ooh. on? I think I eat better on the Mardi Gras. One thing I don't like about the Prima is the children's because I have small kids. I don't feel like it is a ship for people who have kids from ten and uh, under. Ten and right? under. What do you say about ten and under? Uh, yeah, yeah, about nine and under. A ten-year-old could probably ten year olds could have, have a good time. Fun. I don't. I would. I don't think now. Rain just turned seven. I would say for Rain at seven years old, no, no, she would have fun because she knows how to have fun. But is it built to cater to her? Not really. But what's different, that's what is also different with that ship versus the rest of um, some Norwegian people feel like the other ones are a little bit more family friendly for younger right. kids. If you have a preteen, oh, they're yeah. going to have a blast because they can go on the go karts. They have the virtual reality. Mm -hmm. They have the top golf. They have the um, escape Haven? rooms. Oh, escape rooms. You have, yeah, they yeah. have the escape rooms. They have that whole area with all of the games on the top. Mm -hmm. All of that was just a little bit too mature for a five and seven year old. But I, I do feel it's more premium than the rest of their line though oh yeah the, the prima is definitely elevated experience than yeah. the rest of norwegian ships which is why i like it i may not have liked it when i was 21 but right now i'm loving it yes the complaint i keep hearing about the prima is everything is too small the venues are smaller mm -hmm. yes it is and that's why the ship only caters to 32 to 3900 you do need to make an appointment not, not a comedy shows and all that that, that is, that is a big small. complaint oh um, i love that they have prices right on the ship that price is right is amazing. It was amazing. And don't even get me started on, on the Donna, Donna Summer. Summer. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Richard was all into obsessed. it. He's obsessed with Donna Summers now. Yep. Question, how would you compare the size and layout of the Prima versus the Virgin ships? Prima is Virgin mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. The ship. The vibe on Virgin is better. Mm -hmm. But the Prima is better than Virgin. It has what Virgin has in terms of venues and all but, but more, more stuff yeah. yeah more stuff more to give yes. and it did has the same builder so you are going to see if you've taken virgin before and you're going on the prima you're going to see a lot of virgin-esque mm -hmm. innuendos and a little on msc the vibes and too. msc vibes so the same type of builder or builder company worked on msc virgin Italian. and and prima italian mm -hmm. okay um, the Prima is the first of the six new builds in the class in that class by Norwegian. Yes, it is. They will have some new ground baking features coming. Come yeah. on, yes, they I'm sure ready. will. I'm trying to see all of them. I'm trying to see all of them, absolutely. And the price of the Prima, I will tell y'all now, it is up there. It is. It's not. It's not a cheap price. It's not cheap, but listen, everything cannot. Every vacation can't be a budget. 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 Vacation. No, everything. Sometimes you got to splurge a little bit. Sometimes you got to enjoy a little bit. So that's why, again, this list has, it has got Carnival and it's got, well, it don't have Viking. I left it out on purpose. <laughs> I was only trying to make the list with 10 and Viking was the most expensive. So I yeah. left it out. So. Yeah. Sorry, Viking. Yeah. Yes. Third. Now this is one we are, we are excited about. We are excited we, about, but I'm still feeling a little, a little ways about. Yeah, because we got messed up. In yeah. terms of group cruising, mm -hmm. but what Here are we, we talking go. about? We talk about the Carnival Jubilee. So the Jubilee is coming out. It is delayed. We had our group cruise on there. It was canceled. It's now delayed till Christmas week of this year. The Jubilee is exactly the same as the Mardi Gras celebration, with a couple touches, couple changes in the bars, 
couple changes, um, minor changes like the celebration. They moved around Emeril Agassi's restaurant. They may enhance that. Um, the bars, in our opinion, were not better, but maybe the Jubilee will come through and be better than all of them. Who knows? Although I did enjoy um, eight, eight, 820. That was excellent. That was excellent. Mm -hmm. And I like the Golden Jubilee. You did? Yeah, I like the Golden Jubilee. I like Jubilee. Brass Magnolia better. The one with the flowers on the wall. I do like Brass Magnolia come better because they have the hurricanes. They have all those good, nice. Good yeah. I, you're, I have to agree. I do like Brass Magnolia better. Sometimes and I like, a reminder, and you know? I don't like that Latitudes bar. I, and I like I don't think it's called Latitude. The one with the train track thing. I don't like that on Celebration. I prefer the Fortune Teller. On Which Mardi is in Bar. the, yeah, kind of in the area. But, the same yeah. in the area. What do we know about it? It's still going to be in Galveston, Texas. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the home port. It's going to, um, Maiden Voyage is going to be there. And it's the home port. Yes. Right? I did not see a transatlantic on the itinerary. So I don't think you can book a transatlantic, which also leads me to believe, I wonder... I wonder if Carnival is going to do anything special to bring it over. Maybe they'll surprise us and do like the right. other cruise lines. Because Carnival doesn't do what, not all the cruise lines, but some of them do where they show off their ship. No one does it better than Disney. They show off their ship for like two months straight. They bring on a lot of their employees, executives, employees, Imagineers, all of that. Journalists. A lot of media. Social worldwide. media. So, all, every media outlet in every state comes on. Like they literally take a L financially and show that ship off. Disney take a L? For, <laughs> Never, darling. But when, once they start getting them bookings. <laughs> <laughs> Disney, <laughs> Disney takes no Ls. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, I, I just wonder if Carnival is going to do that. I don't know. It's just a guess. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to do more than just that one um, thing where people come on for the day. And yeah, and, yeah. Celebrations food was not the best this go around. You're right. The is that where we went to the steakhouse that wasn't good? We didn't go to steakhouse on Celebration. We overslept. Oh, that was a different. Speaking trip. of which, I need to call and give my money. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah what happened yeah, to my yeah, money? Yeah, yeah. They never gave me my money. Anyway, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> so but you're not the first person to say that, that the food on the celebration was not as good. I think overall, I still had a pretty decent experience. I wasn't blown not, away. Yeah, I wasn't blown away. I still like that Excel class of ships for all the included food. Shaq's Big Chicken, Guy's Burger, um, the Street Eats. The Seafood the Shack. Seafood so Shack. It's well, not included. You, you got to pay for But no other cruise line is giving you seafood that I could just walk mm -hmm. up to and pay for. The Italian restaurant is free only on the Excel class. The um, Chebang is, to, is included. What else? Um, it's just a lot of options to eat. And I appreciate that, that you don't have to pay extra for that. Being especially at the price point for a Carnival cruise versus like we, we just talked about the Prima. You can eat all this good stuff. It's all included. But the price point of the Prima is here and Carnival is here. So for Carnival to still give you all that food. Exactly. It's pretty good. Exactly. Um, <laughs> what was the saying, speaking of price point, that, that meme that you showed me earlier this week? with the Disney and they said, my clients want to book. Oh, my clients want to book Disney, um, Disney cruise, a Disney cruise. And then it's an epic fail because they want to pay Carnival cruise price. And not brand new Carnival cruise price. They want to pay Carnival elation, elation prices. Yeah. Okay, Carnival paradise price. No offense to the elation. <laughs> shout out to DJ Trav holding it down. Yes, shout out on to the elation. Trav. Yes. No offense to the elation. It's a good time. But that is that is your budget cruise. That right. is a real budget budget cruise. And you guys, you know us. We will be eventually getting on Adulation. Okay. We do them all. We do them all. We went on a paradise last year. We, we sure went on did. The spirit With Addie and Terry, we had a blast. Yeah. We had a blast. Look, so we, we went we on them. the newest that came out last year. We went on the oldest. The oldest. So we are now, moving on to ship number four. Number four. I mean, I know I was excited for the last one, and I'm probably going to say this about everyone, but I'm really excited about this one. Oh, my gosh. I need parts. I need to figure out how to get on it. I need I need it. I Take need your it. mind off of cruises because it's not considered a cruise. It, it, I think it still is. It's still a cruise, but, but it, they, they don't like to be classified as a cruise. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're talking about some other stuff. Check mm. this out. All right, guys. We are talking about... MSC has the Explorer line coming out. The Explorer 1 is going to be coming out in July this year. It's going to start out in Europe. It is going to make its way to America. It is going to be in the Caribbean. It's going to do some South America itineraries on it's this It's literally type going of ship. to Brazil it's going to be, during Carnival. Yeah. If you look into switch it up, change it up, 
get into a different type of um a, a different, different type, type of, of class darling. Ooh, this is where it's at their whole model is that they want this ship to look like a hotel yes every ship there are no inside cabins there are only ocean view facing veranda cabins okay balcony cabins absolutely gorgeous yes children can go on these ships mm -hmm. i'm really looking at it because i looked at some of the prices and it's honestly the prices are it's not, not that bad, bad. Yeah. so this is msc but it's not considered an msc cruise but they are under the msc group guys do you know that msc is the number one shipping couple you like you know how if you live by water and you see these big trans cargo cargo, cargo ships, ships mm -hmm. More than likely, it's an MSC ship. They said they have a million of them in the waters around the world. A million of them. They are doing amazing things. Besides MSC Cruise Line, in which we'll get into, MSC, this is a special type of ship. Yeah. It's the first one of its kind. It's called the Explorer One, guys. It starts right. July 2023. This year, mm -hmm. do you know that by 2028, they will have 2027. They, they come in through. They said they'll have back seven back of back these ships. Back. Yeah. And they're yeah. they're doing what my other one of my um favorite cruise lines, Main Shift. Main Shift names their cruises Main Shift One, Main Shift Two, Main Shift Three. The Explorer is just calling them not complicated they're not copying anyone they're not using the word vista star um dream they're not using those names they're going to be called explorer one explorer two explorer three <laughs> which one's the oldest one explorer one <laughs> that's <Right>. it <laughs> it holds it only holds 900 to 1400 people that's it yeah not a lot of passengers it's going to be so there. you know how you go like when i went on the ones of the seas I was surprised because I said, hey, how come I keep seeing the same people even though this is the world's biggest ship? It's weird. It was very weird. And it, and it was the inaugural. And I kept seeing the same people. I, like, I was like, hey, hey, oh, but, hey. You know, but it was cool. Kudos to them. I never felt overcrowded. No, never felt overcrowded. So this type of ship, if you are an introvert, maybe these types of ships are not for you because you are going to be seeing the same people over and over mm -hmm. and over again. So just keep that in mind. I mean, you ain't got to talk to them. All right. So speaking of MSC, <laughs> since we're on the topic of MSC, yes, let's talk about some more MSC. Yes. Here we go. We are talking about MSC Uribe. Uribe. So yes. this is, it's not the world class ship that they're dropping. It's a little bit smaller, still pretty big. It's equivalent to the Meraviglia. It's actually a MSC Meraviglia Plus. This ship is coming out in June of 2023 unfortunately this ship is going to be in northern europe we won't be seeing this for a i don't i don't know that i've seen this on the itinerary for america msc is not they're just breaking into the american market mm -hmm. they're not fully there yet so you may have to travel to see a ship like this but we're expecting this to be a pretty good one in terms of size um you're talking about 4,800 to 6,300 passengers that could go on there. Mm -hmm. Sister ships, you got the Virtuoso and Grandioso. Those are all in Europe. They are not here in America. And it they is, have not been. They, we don't know that they will ever right. be here. It's giving class. It's giving opulence. Is this the first time that MSC painted pics on the ships? Reminds me of Norwegian Cruise Line. I believe so. I believe so. Now, the painting, the, if you look closely at it, it's actually a tribute to how MSC believes in protecting the environment and all that. So pay close attention. It's all about the marine life. You see that? What is the price point? MSC is very, very affordable. So obviously, I can't give you a price point because it depends on one, how many people's going, mm -hmm. two, what kind of cabin you want, and three, the type of what time of year you're going. So, but just know it's that it's lateral MSC, to carnival prices. I feel but like you get the better ships deal. Are way better. They include the drinks and Wi-Fi yeah. on a lot of deals. They have better. I think you get a better deal choices. than carnival with MSC. The only thing is carnival more people the reason carnival is more fun is because more people know about it so more people it's a fun sail ship. It, so the vibe comes with the people right um but, I, I very well feel like if you bring on the right cruise director on an msc ship and get rid of all those dang on dance classes then you don't want to learn the salsa no you don't learn a merengue no and i will say this guys is going on group cruises if you want to learn salsa mer merengue you're gonna learn uh, you're gonna learn it because they actually have dance classes like a retirement home on there 
But oh, um, that is like a retirement. It is home. like a retirement. That's home. good. It's giving retirement That's... home. Um, <laughs> I, they gotta get rid of that. But I, I guess Europeans like you have that. to have some entertainment. So they... no, but you could do other stuff. But what um, you want a belly uh, hairy man contest? I hate that. I really it makes it's you disgusting want ice, to me. ice carving. I don't. I don't know why people are so entertained by that on carnival seeing a man with a disgusting hairy chest. Like yes, I'm married to a very hairy man. I don't want to see nobody My else. Chest is not that bad though. Hmm? Yeah, your chest not that bad. We are done with MSC for now. Now let's get on to another cruise line that we love, 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 love. We are going on to number six, guys. Number six coming out in, in May of 2023 is Virgin Voyage, the Resilient Lady. The Resilient Lady is going to start off in Greece. She is in the class called a lady ship. That picture is the Scarlet Lady, but they all look the same. Literally, Virgin does a very poor job at diversifying their um, ships because they all look exactly the same. <laughs> However, <laughs> it's a good time. It's a vibe. It's very unique. A lot of things are different from the rest the of the The mermaid is industry. Latina. The mermaid on Resilient is Latina. She, well, what um, Virgin is doing is introducing diversity and, uh, and they're coming in strong with the diversity, much ooh, like ooh. Melanin at Sea. We love diversity. So I really, really, really give a lot of kudos to Virgin for that. The diversity on board the ships. Wow, with the they clients, really go through. I didn't see this With the, um, the, the people that are sailing, it's diverse. The crowd is diverse. The staff is diverse. Um, so we are loving it. We've sailed on the Valiant twice. We've sailed on the Scarlet twice. We love MSC. Uh, uh, not MSC. Um, we do love MSC, but we like <laughs> Virgin, 2,700 to 2,800. So this is definitely smaller. So the person it's that asked. It's smaller asked, than uh, Viva on the premium. Right. So you see, this ship is basically holding almost like 1,000 people less than the, the Prima the Prima class. So just so you can understand why the Prima has more things is because they have more space also, too. Um, what else we got to say about this ship? Um, it's giving... Every dining room is a specialty dining room. We like that. Okay, we like that. We like the fitness classes that are included. We like the the nightclub. entertainment. Two stories. Two story nightclub. This Look is at what they're right now. It's a two story nightclub. It's bigger than your nightclub in your in your in your city. Right. Okay, it's giving your local nightclub can never. Yes, your local nightclub can never. It's giving something different because every balcony cabin has a hammock. I've talk to several people who Game told changer. me that they go to sleep on the hammock we sl we sailed with eki yeah we he, we he slept. slept there like six nights out of seven and to go to greece <laughs> this is what else virgin is giving that's different from other cruise lines when they go to their ports ladies and gentlemen they're not leaving at three o'clock like carnival and royal caribbean and norwegian no they are staying overnight at places if they can't stay overnight they're staying there as late as possible sometimes you're pulling out at eight o'clock Okay, it is setting sail May of 2023, guys, from Greece. Who don't want to go to Greece? Fire. Okay, so it's staying overnight in like Mykonos. So you can go clubbing. You're at that point, the cruise ship is just a hotel. It's like when we went, now you guys still have not seen the content that we did when we went from Barcelona with Addy and Terry. And um, it's a vibe it was a vibe oh, we went to ibiza we went out clubbing got back on the ship at like four o'clock in the morning it was definitely not four we were still in a nightclub at four. Oh yeah but whatever time <laughs> it was we was rolling in on that ship like oh just dope dope vibe if you are in a you are all adults if you want a vacation and you know you don't want to bring no kids on a vacation i always tell people go on virgin voyage experience what it's like to just have top creme de la creme different type of experience is different than your normal type of yeah. um um so there's a heavy focus cruise. on the voyage not the vessel so that is a key key they are absolutely winning when it comes to that they are staying in port like she said the longest they're looking for unique itineraries they have some more unique itineraries that's not even released yet that's coming from virgin so they they have a one-up on a lot of the cruise lines in many different ways. Um, and we're ready to be a part of it. If you have not sailed Virgin Voyage yet, you're doing yourself a disservice. If you keep going on Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, and you're not going with kids, and you're going 
on these other cruise lines, you're doing yourself a major disservice. Mm -hmm. I promise you, I don't know nobody that came back from Virgin and said I had a bad time. If you are somebody who came back from Virgin and said you had a bad time, look at your, look in the mirror. Look at yourself. Truly. Oh, look at yourself in the mirror because you got to be a boring person. You got to be a real boring stick in the mud to say you ain't have a good time on Virgin and you ain't enjoy the food, you ain't enjoy the entertainment. You cannot you say enjoy the craft food. cocktails. Yeah. Yeah. You and it, It's amazing. The one thing I will say is I hate how they have the pool. I always say that the pool is trash. But the pool is not, again, but we they, always go back to that. It's not for swimming. It's for lounging. It's for it's lounging. For but I feel like they could do better with their ships that they come out with in the future. I see you. Virgin, you you want to do laps in the pool, don't you? I, I want to be able to not feel like a sardine in a can. So um, I do feel like Virgin has so much potential to take just take it to new heights because they are the only cruise line that is for adults only. They're now, if you are 18 unique. or 19, yes, you can go on Virgin, but you need someone that is 21 in your cabin. Okay, keep that in mind. So eight, it's 18 and up, but you need someone that's 21 in your cabin to go on Virgin unless you're two 18 year olds that's married. Right. All right, so we are moving off of Virgin right. and our tangent. So now we are gonna dip into some lines that are not as popular in the US and not as popular um, specifically on this vlog because you have not seen us sail on these next few cruise lines. But it's definitely something to mention because again, you won't, if you don't know about it, how would you know to book it, right? What well, we have ranked as number eight anyway. Um, best new cruise ships coming in 2023. It by Silver Seas. Silver Seas, darling. I want everyone to put on their their classes and their capes. This is called the Silver Seas Nova. It is coming out in August of 2023 and is leaving from Venice, Italy. It is a Silver Evolution class ship. Okay, the sister ships are called the Silver Ray. It's That's actually not even a out brand. It's, it's a, a brand, brand new class. new class for them. This is their largest Silver Sea ship ever. Okay, mm -hmm. so they are going for, and when I say largest, that means get ready. Seven hundred and twenty-eight people. Ooh, look at the sushi. It's a sushi for me. Ooh. It's the seven hundred and twenty-eight people capacity for passenger holding ship. That's it. Now, when I tell you, if you are an introvert, do not go on the ship. Now, let me stop. No, no, no. You <laughs> now, can you be should go. an introvert. You can be an introvert on the ship. But just know you are going to see the same people over and over and over and over and over again. I, I'm going to put my words to God's ears that one day Rich and I can go and experience a real Rich and Jazzy life. And look at that. Ooh, that is what I need to get there. Oh, my God. To I, Brazil. Get there. I need to fly my drone right there. No, nah, that's not a lot. Definitely it's not, not allowed. It's probably not. Definitely not allowed. But we're going to fly at it the anyway. Deck. Look at the pool deck, guys. You oh, don't have to fight man. over chairs because there's only 728 people there. 728 people is the max on here. The catering to you is going to be on another level. The staff to client ratio is going to be amazing. Here's the thing. This is not, you're not hyping it up enough. Go ahead. Go for it. First of all. First of all. They give you business class flights, number one. What okay, you get that included with your price. You're flying out business class, okay? Business class from your home city, not they economy, business class, okay? I said, business class. I said business class. Then they come and pick you up from the airport, take you to the cruise. If you want to fly in, which obviously you need to fly in early for a Venice, you know, you leave from Venice. If I live in Atlanta, you're gonna fly in the same day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you did one complimentary night. Obviously, at the to, hotel, at the whole included, included in your price. Okay, you're getting Wi Fi, you're getting drinks, wine, beers, cocktails, all that jazz included. Mm -hmm. You're getting butler service mm -hmm. included, suites only. You're getting There's your no interior room on these ships. You're getting gratuities. There are no hidden fees because the fee <laughs> is a fee. Okay, the fee is a fee. Okay, the fee, if it was cheap, y'all would have been seeing me on it. What are we up to? Are we up oh, to number okay. nine? We're up to number nine. Let's play the video, Richard. Let's roll. We are talking about Regent Seven Seas. Oh. This is the grandeur coming out in November of 2023. This ship is going to debut in, in Europe. It's going to do a couple of itineraries out there in Europe. Then it's going to come on over to Miami. This class of ships is this is the Regent Explorer. It has a sister ship, the Seven Seas Explorer and the Seven Seas Splendor, not to be confused with the Carnival Splendor. It is much different, way different. 
it holds a total of 700 to 800 ish it's not a lot of people again this is another luxury cruise line this is like when we talked about how celebrity is somewhat affordable um these are definitely where it gets a little bit higher still again if you plan way ahead you can probably make it happen as a bucket list in our current budget it's not something we can do every year what we can um, unless what are we was, all right so then what year are we doing it well whatever year you <laughs> choose that we're only going to take one cruise that whole year next we are talking about the oceana vista oceana vista now is also going to fall into this line of low it, you know it's a smaller ship it's only going up to 1200 passengers on board it is coming out in april so very soon it's going to start off in europe if you are interested in what you're seeing in a ship which is absolutely beautiful it will be in the u.s it's coming to the u.s in september if i remember right these are a lot of ships that gave up with um off the top of my head but if i remember right it's going to come to new york do canada and then go to the caribbean after that leaving out of a southern area maybe Ooh, miami or something beautiful um Come it is in the class of the oceana allura it has a sister ship of the oceana marin Marin. Marina and Riviera. So this is another ship that is not really explored by us and people in our community. And again, these last three ships, we put it on here because we want you to be aware of it. We want Ooh. maybe you're the first one that's going to go we on went there. there. We went there. Taj Mahal. Mm -hmm. Yes. And maybe you're going to be the first one to go on. Maybe you're going to be the one to come back and tell us all about it. But as of right now. And I want you guys to experience new experience yeah. and that's why we don't want to leave these things off the list because you know what you may be looking and saying it's not achievable and it's not doable it and achievable. we want to let you know that it is doable and it is achievable you we, can be on this ship yourself like carla gatlin said the maldives is on my bucket list i never thought like that was like that was my top of the creme de la creme and i went to it for my honeymoon so guys you guys can achieve it you yeah. really can achieve it we still look, look back and say we cannot believe we were in the maldives we went to the taj mahal right we saw it in person right and like there's no reason and we were regular everyday people we went there years ago with two kids just starting out just moved to atlanta we made it happen Let it's me see doable if you can take kids on this. don't rule out these bucket list things for yourself you have one life to live and you and can absolutely stop achieve saying, it. Oh, it's gonna be boring. I can never do it. Sometimes don't think of oh exactly what she said. It's gonna be boring. Oh no, no, no. Sometimes you need to enjoy luxury at its finest and be bored and sleep and rest and relax and just it's a completely different vibe. Every every cruise is not about doing line dances on Lido Day. Oh <gasps> yes continues to live guys are rich and jazzy live bye, bye guys, guys.